In this video, I will show you how to generate content using OpenAI and upload in Google Docs automatically. So firstly, I will add a list of topics on which I would like to generate a content in my spreadsheet and then I will create an automation in these three applications in such a way that my automation will automatically pick the content topic from the spreadsheet and then it will automatically create a content on the very same topic using this OpenAI application and further it will automatically add add that content to Google Docs application automatically. So if you also want to learn how you can automate this content creation and content drafting process, then come with me and I will show you everything step by step. So this is the spreadsheet where I have already added a list of topics on which I would like to generate the content automatically. And for automatic content generation, I will use OpenAI application, which is an AI research and deployment company. And you can create a free account in OpenAI. And this is my Google Drive where I have already created a blank folder. And in this folder only, I am going to create multiple documents for all these articles. Okay. And to automate this whole process, firstly, we will have to build a connection in Google Sheets, OpenAI and Google Drive application, which I am going to do with the help of software called as Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation software. I am an existing user of Pabli Connect, so I am already logged in. You can create your free account in Pabli Connect in just two minutes from the sign up free button. And in the free account, you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation. Now, once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect, firstly click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation. Okay, so I have directly pasted the name as automate content creation and content drafting process okay now simply click on create and then you will notice two boxes so these boxes are called as trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever something happen in the first application then automatically do this in the next application okay so this is how you need to select the applications in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation okay so According to our use case, we want that whenever the topic of content is added in Google Sheets application, then automatically generate a content on that topic using OpenAI application and further the same content which we have generated should be automatically drafted in our Google Docs application. So for that, I will be searching, I will be selecting Google Drive. Okay, so I have selected all three application one by one in this trigger and the action window. Okay, and now the idea here is firstly, I'll connect to Google Sheets with Pabli Connect and will capture all these titles here. And then further, I will connect Pabli Connect with the OpenAI and will send these topic details to OpenAI and automatically generate the content. And further, I will draft those content in Google Drive. Okay, so let us first connect to Google Sheets with the Pabli Connect. Okay, so firstly, you will have to select the trigger event that is new or update spreadsheet row okay so yes I want to perform the same that whenever any new row is added in my spreadsheet this automation should trigger in real time okay or we can say the data of our spreadsheet should be captured via public connect okay so how we will build this connection with the help of this webhook url okay so kindly follow these instructions carefully one by one okay so firstly simply copy this webhook url go back to your spreadsheet click on extension click on add-ons then click on get add-ons and here you'll have to search for the public connect to webhooks add-on and then you will have to install that order add-on okay so let me show you the same but here you will notice that this add-on is already installed in my account okay so i will directly close it okay but make sure that you install this add-on firstly because you will have to again click on extension and then you will have to open the very same add-on from here that is pabli connect webhooks now directly click on this initial setup and here exactly we are going to paste our webhook url okay so remember we have already got the url from pabli connect so let me paste the same here and now it is asking for the trigger call okay so read the instruction first the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook url okay so it is asking to provide a column name 
on filling of which this automation should trigger automatically okay so currently in my spreadsheet i have a single column only okay so of course the column name will be a only basically the trigger column will a only okay so basically what will happen as soon as you will add any topic in this a column this automation will trigger or we can say this particular data of spreadsheet will be received via public connect okay so i'll show you everything but firstly i'll show you here you can notice that it is waiting for the webhook response and as soon as i click on the send a test button you will notice that the response will be received here you can notice the test data successfully that is why automation is important for any business and here you can notice that the response is already received okay and now i'll show you the details one by one but before that let me close this box okay so clicking on submit and here you can notice the setup is configured successfully clicking on close coming back to public connect and here you can notice the very same trigger column here we have the first row data that is why automation is important for any business here we have the spreadsheet name that is topics for blog writing yes topics for blog writing here we have the sheet name that is sheet 1 okay so the the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in our spreadsheet and public connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time you or your team member will add any topic here this automation will automatically capture the data in public connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture no incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time but for that you will have to enable a very important setting okay so you will will have to click on this send on event option okay so if you will enable this option then this will ensure that every time a new data is added here in spreadsheet that data should be sent to public connected dashboard automatically here you can notice this tick mark is uh, saying that this is enabled okay so in this way our automation will take place in real time basically as soon as a new title is added here our automation basically our content will be generated in real time automatically and the doc will be created in our google drive automatically again in real time okay so in this way the first step of our automation is done and here i would like to tell you two very important things firstly whenever you are working with google sheets and public connect make sure either you work in the incognito window or multiple gmail account should not be logged in in the same tab if you are working in the same tab in the normal tab okay i am repeating this thing once again either work in the incognito window or multiple gmail account should not be logged in in the same tab okay and the second important thing is well this is not important this is actually another way of creating the articles okay so currently i am showing you how you can generate the articles in real time but do you know the same process can be done in bulk yes let's say you have added a list of around 100 topics in this spreadsheet so within a click the content can be generated on all those 100 topics automatically and even those content will be drafted automatically in bulk in your google drive folder yes it is possible but i will show you this particular thing in the end of the video okay so coming back to public connect the first step of our automation is done moving further now i am going to generate the article on this particular topic that is why automation is important for any business okay so the application is already selected. selected and now i will select the action event that is generate a content because i want to perform the same and just like we have connected google sheets and public connect now i will be connecting open ai with the public connect okay so simply select on add new connection and for the connection it is asking for the token okay so directly click on this hyperlink and if you are already logged in in your open ai platform it will redirect it to you to api keys page okay so click on this create new secret key and then provide a random name okay so i will provide the name something like connection with public connect okay i'm providing this particular name now simply click on this green button and this is how a new secret key will be generated let me copy the same and let me paste the same 
clicking on save and this is how your OpenAI account will be immediately connected with Pabli Connect and because we are connected here you can notice whatever the AI models offered by OpenAI has started visible here in the drop down okay so let me take you to the dashboard of OpenAI so this is the URL that is platform.openai.com and currently I am into this playground section okay so as the name suggests you can actually play with the content okay so here I'll show you some example I'm writing this hello then I'll click on the submit button and you will notice that the assistant will immediately give me a reply that is hello how can I assist you today okay how about I add something like I'm bored okay I'm adding this particular thing and then I will again pressing enter and this is how it will give me once again a reply that is I understand if you are looking for something to do there are many options depending on your interest you could try picking up a new hobby reading a book watching a movie or TV show etc okay so this is how you can actually play with the content this is how you can actually talk with the AI okay because currently the chat model is selected the chat mode is selected so I am able to chat with the assistant if you will select this complete option you just need to write a tagline here and this is how the content will be generated okay so how about I write something like write a story on dog okay I'm providing this particular prompt this particular tagline clicking on submit and you will notice that it will start generating the content generating the story that is once upon a time there was a small fluffy white dog okay so did you notice is that how this openai.com is generating the content automatically within few clicks within few seconds okay so with the help of openai we are again going to generate the content but here we are going to use this content creation thing in our public connected dashboard so that we can entirely automate this content generation process okay so here in the model i will select this text the winc 003 model because this is is the mostly used model okay but let me tell you this model is also about to depreciate basically a new model is about to come I think that is going to be text the Vinci 04004 okay so you will get the notification on your email about the same but currently we'll go with the same asking for the prompt basically the instruction you will have to provide here you can check the supported prompt format here okay so I will write a simple instruction something like generate a content on and here I am going to provide the title of my topic and remember I have already fetched the title in my Google sheet basically from my Google sheets which is available here at the top step response the first step response okay and here currently the topic is why automation is important for any business okay so instead of manually copying this particular topic and pasting it here I am going to map that topic okay and mapping is very simple and public connect simply click on this field and you will find the above data here in the drop down simply select that data and this is how the data will be mapped now you must be thinking what is the importance of mapping okay so whatever the data you are mapping here these details will be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time in next time yes this particular data will be replaced automatically and whatever you are providing here manually these details will remain same will static okay so this is the difference in providing the values manually and in providing the values via mapping now it is asking for the maximum tokens okay so enter the maximum number of tokens to generate the content the maximum li limit is up to 2048 okay so again I am taking you to the dashboard of OpenAI and here you can notice the maximum length okay so if you will hover here you will actually get the information about the maximum length the maximum number of tokens to generate shared between the prompt and completion okay the exact limit varies by model one token is roughly four characters for standard English text I hope you have understood what is this maximum length maximum token all about okay so I will leave this particular field blank and it will automatically take the default value and not just that I am again going to leave these fields also blank because every field has a default 
value if you want to understand the meaning of the sampling value the presence penalty the frequency penalty and the stop sequence you can again come back to your open ai dashboard and read the instruction okay what is the stop sequence up to four sequences where the api will stop generating further tokens okay so in this particular box you can actually add four characters basically a sequence of four characters and that will be used as a stop sequence okay what is the stop p it controls that diversity via nuclear sampling okay 0.5 means half of all likelihood weighted options are considered okay and in this way you can also read about this frequency penalty the presence penalty the best of okay basically all these options are related to your content only you are actually defining the system that how your content should be produced okay what should be the frequency of the words what should be the presence penalty which means that how much to penalize new tokens based on whether they appear in the text or so far okay and best of well this generates multiple completion server side and displays only the best okay so if you will add the number based on that number it will produce the content best of okay if you add three then it will produce three content three copy of content and then it will give you best out of three okay so in this way you can read these instructions and provide your values accordingly now i'll be clicking on this button save and send test request directly and in the response you will notice that a unique content will be generated automatically on the prompt on the instruction which we have provided okay so here you can notice the response is already received and now i will directly take you to this choices zero text okay so here you can find your content okay this is an auto generated content automation is an important tool for businesses in today's world automation allows businesses to reduce cost increase efficiency and improved quality automation is also an essential part of many business strategic plans here are are some of the reasons why automation is important for any business okay and here you can find the whole content okay so did you see the magic that how based on our instruction based on the prompt we have provided the content is generated automatically and in this way the second step of our automation is also done and here i'll show you one more interesting thing basically the important thing warning as i have told you that this particular model is actually about to dip appreciate okay so you will have to migrate before january 4th 2024 to avoid disruption of service okay so you can learn more about that on this particular documentation link okay so moving further now finally i am going to upload this content in my google docs file okay so the application is already selected now i will select the action event that is creating a file okay so i'll have to find that action event okay all right so here you can find that specific action event that is create a file in a specific folder okay so initially i have already told you about this folder which i have created in my google drive okay so that is why i have selected this specific action event that i am about to create a file in a specific folder and that specific folder will be this all blogs okay coming back to public connect and just like we have connected above two application with public connect i will be connecting this google drive with public connect okay so you will have to click on new connection and then click on this sign in with google and then provide the access of your google drive account okay but i have provided this access multiple times okay so i'll go with the existing connection okay so clicking on save and this is how my google drive application will be also connected with the public connect okay and if you also want to go with the existing connection you just need to provide the access in the first time and after that you can also go with the existing connection okay and because we are connected here you can notice whatever the folders are available inside my google drive account have started visible here and this was the most recent folder i have created so that is why it is visible at the top okay so i have selected the same because i would like to upload my content in this specific folder only and now it is asking that whatever a file will be created what should be the name of the file okay so i am going to take the file name again with the help of automation only because i do not want to generate it manually okay so how about i take the title only as the title of my file okay so again i am going to map the same thing here okay so moving here moving down and let me click on the 
this field and you will find the above data again here in the drop down now i am going to open my google sheets response data and i have mapped it successfully okay so as soon as a new topic will be fetched up from our spreadsheet that data will be fetched via pabli connect and if you have mapped that data the new data will replace these existing values and in this way this automation will take place and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation the file type will be of course document because i want to create the same and now i'll be clicking on this button save and send test request and you will see the magic that a file will be created with the same name okay i just need to wait for the response here you can notice the response is received going back to my google drive folder and here you can notice a blank file has been created automatically in my google drive folder now i just need to append my content in this particular file okay so coming back to my dashboard again i'll be clicking on this plus icon and once again i will connect to google drive with the public connect okay so instead of doing everything from scratch i can do one more thing simply click on this three dot and click on this copy button and this is how you can clone the very same step into your below step as your below step as your next step okay so i have clicked on that paste step and now i will see whether the same step has been cloned or not and yes it has been cloned okay so now i can delete this extra step which i have just added okay so that step has been deleted let me open this step and instead of going with this particular action event currently i'll go with update content in a file okay so let me search for the same action event that is update content in a file here is that specific action event clicking on connect and once again i'll go with the existing connection okay and this time again you will notice my google drive will be immediately connected with pabli connect okay if you also want to go with the existing connection you can also go with the same you just need to provide the access in the first time and after that you can also go with the same connection okay and here you can notice because we are connected whatever the files are available inside my google drive account have started visible here so instead of selecting any file from this drop down i would like to map the file id okay so firstly i will enable this mapping button then i will remove this existing id and from my this particular step i will map the id of that blank file which has just got created okay so i have mapped and what is the benefit of mapping so again this id will be replaced automatically as soon as a new document is created in our google drive okay finally it is asking for the content so remember we have already created generated the content using our open ai step okay and here under this choices zero text we have that whole content so i have added the same now i will be clicking on this button directly and you will notice how the very same content will be updated automatically in my blank document and here you can notice within a blink of eye the content has been added has been drafted automatically okay so in this way with the help of this automation with the help of pabli connect you can automate the process of creating the content and drafting the content in google drive folder automatically okay and remember initially i have told you that i will also show you the method of generating these articles in bulk okay so you will have to assume that you have lot of topics here in your spreadsheet okay now when you are sure that your automation is working absolutely fine when you are completely sure that for the first row the automation has been executed successfully after that in the last you can enable this send all data instead of enabling this send on event yes the send on event is actually for the real time working okay but if you will enable this send all data you will notice that how the files will be generated and the content will be added automatically in those files in bulk all together basically for all those three files remaining these three files okay so let me show you the magic let me first enable this uh, send all even button fingers crossed waiting for the files to be created okay 
and here you can notice two files are already generated one for five best ai tools another one for what is chat gpt and now when i will open any file in front of you you will find the content also in these files okay so did you notice that how within few seconds the automation has created the articles and drafted the articles in google docs automatically in bulk okay so if you also want to automate this process simply create this automation inside pabli connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually and if you want to access this four step workflow inside your pabli connect account i will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box so you just need to click on that link and then sign up for free into the pabli connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own pabli connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video